Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to share with you a haul. Now I have been waiting for one of these products and one of them was a little bit more of a spur of the moment purchase but I have been waiting for one of these products for what seems like months and months and months. Um, so I purchased both of these from beautybay.com. Initially I signed up for an email notification because when I'd heard about this palette, um, I looked on Beauty Bay who actually stocks it and it was sold out. So obviously I signed up for that email notification and it became available yesterday. So both of these actually became available yesterday and I thought, to be honest, I don't really want to miss out again. I don't want to have to wait another, goodness how, how much longer um, for it. So I snapped both of these up and I'm absolutely thrilled that I did. I know that a lot of, um, on YouTube, it's very half loves um, these palettes, half um, really dislikes them. But I am one of those people that really likes to find things out for myself and um, the colours in the both of these palettes seem to be colours and shades that I will absolutely love. So I've purchased both of them and yeah, I've just received them through the mail and just opened them. And so far I'm absolutely loving the shades. So what I'm talking about is the range Violet Voss. Um, I've not got anything from the range at all, um, nothing at all. I um, hadn't heard about Violet Voss until um, when I signed up for this email notification. I was so disappointed that everything was out of stock. The only items that seem available regularly are the fake or false eyelashes. Um, they're not anything that I wear. So, you know, I really, really was desperate to get my hands on, especially this first one. And the first one is the Violet Voss and it's the Holy Grail palette. So the packaging looks like this. Now these are quite expensive and I, I think a lot of um, what people are talking about on YouTube in reference to these shadows are that they are made in China and that, um, you know, why should we pay a certain amount of money for items that are made in China? My personal view is um, that if I really want something, you know, I will pay for that for that product. Um, and we all have a choice, you know, to either purchase it or not purchase it. I made the choice to purchase it because I really like the shades. Whether or not it's made in China or not, it doesn't really bother me. I love Morphe eyeshadows. I love the range um, crown brushes as well, or crown brush. So it doesn't really affect me from that point of view. As long as the product is good and the shades are what I want, you know, I'm not really, um, you know, bothered so much as to where it's made as long as it's a product that I like. These palettes were £43 each. And yes, I said last week, that um, I did, wasn't going to go for um, a, the Huda Beauty palette because it was £56. Um, I still stand by that because that one I have seen um, reviews again that's hit and miss. Um, but the shades in these two are definitely ones that I will use and that's why I went for both of them. So today I'm going to do a couple of swatches. I'm not going to swatch every shade in the palette. I'll do a couple of swatches. I just want to share with you, you know, my small haul. And over the next um, couple of videos, I'll probably do a few looks with each of these palettes and to show you obviously how they perform and what I personally think about them. I love the packaging so far of this, the Holy Grail. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's one of those uh, cardboard palettes, but I really like it. It's got, it's shiny. Um, you could wipe it as well. It probably will get all finger marks all over it, already has. <laughs> but it's one of those, it's um, that can be wiped down. You've got a sheet to protect the shadows, although a couple of this, one in this one and one in the other one, looked like they had been damaged by that sheet. Um, so I wish that they would either attach them in some way or um, there are other palettes that I've had where you can actually peel it off. There's a few little 
sticky um, parts where you can peel it off rather than those loose ones tend to um, actually damage the shadows. You've got a huge mirror there as well. Um, although to be honest, you know, I'm not one for using mirrors in a palette, so it, it doesn't really affect me, but you know, it's great that it's there. Um, if I was going traveling or something like that, um, which I regularly do uh, with my husband, so you know, that would be very useful. Um, but the shades in here are absolutely stunning. I think they're gorgeous. Um, yes, I do have the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and I have used that today. Although I must admit, I found that incredibly dusty today when I used that. So I think I'm going to have to use that a little bit more to get used to that. Um, and that obviously was in the same price point of, of these ones as well. Um, like I say, I've never tried Violet Voss before. So this is all new to me. Um, but yeah, I just love the shades. Um, I love the names of them. I just think it's really, really good. So I'm going to uh, just swatch two of these. I think one uh, shimmer and one matte, uh, just to show you so far, um, you know, the swatches and what I think as a first opinion. Um, but over the next couple of days, I definitely want to use these and then I'll, um, yeah, show you or tell you exactly what I do think of them. So I'm going to go for, I think I'll go for Teddy Bear, which is this gorgeous, um, it has, it's like a brown, but it looks like it's got some red in it. So uh, I'll try that one to start with. They definitely seem soft and fairly pigmented. So that's the matte. Um, teddy bear and then I think I'm going to go for on fleek that looks really really gorgeous so on fleek so I'll just do that one as well very soft gorgeous oh yes stunning lovely love that so that was the violet Voss um, palette uh, Holy Grail. So obviously, like I say, I've just opened it. So that's that one. And then, and I did hum and har about this for about an hour. Should I go for this? And I thought to myself, well, you know, when am I going to get the chance to purchase this again? Um, there's only one place that stocks it, beautybay.com. And I may have to wait and it seems like I've had to wait about a year to get my hands on this. So I didn't want to wait, you know, another year or so for that to come uh, become available. Um, so I did, I, I purchased it. So this, pa uh, the packaging, the box that it came in looks like this. I think it's absolutely stunning. I think the packaging looks great. And obviously this is the Violet Voss um, and it's a collaboration with, um, Laura Lee and she's obviously a YouTuber, a huge YouTuber. Um, I absolutely love watching her videos. She's very animated but not too over the top. She's very very informative um, and I just absolutely you know love what she does. Um, her palette she's resorted um, back to the black uh, which I think is great but you've still got that splash um, of you know her name there and there really nice I really love the packaging they're actually quite weighty as well these palettes so they're not I know they are expensive but they don't feel you know really cheap again you've got that um, that plastic there and then um, you've again got the mirror and you've got these gorgeous shades I just love them I particularly like this one here I just think some of the shades are very very unusual like this one here it's not anything that I've already got yes I have got the Anastasia Beverly Hills with the uh, Holy Grail palette but there are a couple of you know the red tones in there whereas this one I thought had a lot more um, and this one is a warm tone. Yes, you do have cool tones here as well, but I just absolutely thought, well, I, I just thought it would work for me basically and had to have it. So that's that one. And again, I really like all of the names again in here. I have watched um, her video where she explained where she got the names from. And I think, you know, it's really 
nice, it's uh, very personal to her, and I really, really like it. So again, I'm going to do a couple of swatches, one matte, one shimmer, and then again, over the next couple of days, I'll be using this. So I think I'm going to go for Mama Bird, which is a stunning, um, like a warm orange shade, that one. So I'm going to go for that one. So that's Mama Bird. And then I'm going to go for, what shall I go for? I think I'll go for Fleeky, <coughs> excuse me, which is a bright yellow gold shade. So Fleeky. So that's Fleeky. Mama Bird, and then you've obviously got the two shades from the first palette. But yeah, really, really love that. Very, very pigmented. Um, this one seems a little sheer, but it looks like you can certainly build that up. And I do find that although some shades may seem a, or appear a little sheer on the arm, um, you can really work with them well on the eyes. I mean, I've certainly found that out with other palettes. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to uh, using these palettes. I am absolutely thrilled I've eventually got my hands on them. So far, so good. Um, so though that was my Violet Voss haul. Uh, I should be really looking forward to trying those out. Like I say, I don't have any Violet Voss products, only these two. So if these work well for me, I may try the liquid lipsticks. So I hope that was of some help um, to you if you're looking to purchase these. Like I say, they are available at the moment from beautybay.com if you are certainly in the market for those. Thumbs up uh, to support me and if you found that helpful. Obviously, I will be doing further um, tutorials with each of those palettes over the next couple of days. And subscribe if you'd like to watch more videos. But thank you very much for watching. Thank you. Bye.